On September 12th, OpenAI released its latest model called O1 Preview, and it is now available on GitHub Copilot. There's a waitlist, you can click here from the official announcement to sign up. But if you don't want to wait, I've got great news for you. I already got access, so let's give it a try. The first thing you're gonna notice is that here you will find a selector where you can use GPT-4.0, O1 Preview, or O1 Mini. And you can also see the same selector down there. Let's use O1 Preview. This is a perfectly empty React app. It just has an empty app.ts6. And let's try to create a Kanban board with four columns and also about six cards as a demo already in the task array. I want to use drag and drop to move cards around and I want to specify text and description for each single card. And with that, it starts generating something. It is telling me to create everything and it is also using some dependencies that is React Beautiful drag and drop. And well, this seems to be the entire code it is already generating. And actually, I don't really like the first instruction that is using Create React App. This is probably quite old. But to be honest, I didn't specify any kind of context. So this sounded like a fresh question. I should try to do the exact same prompt, but this time I'm gonna add code base. And this means use the existing code base as a reference. So that in this case, I'm expecting it to know that there's a React project ready. And in fact, this time doesn't tell me to install something or create a new project, but straight ahead it says create this component. So let's give it a try. Here I should also be able to yeah, insert it into a new file. And if I hit save, I can indeed create kanbanboard.psx. And this is the first file. Let's see what else I should do. So update app.tsx. That makes perfectly sense. I can select everything and click here to just replace the content. And also update board.css. Do I even have a board.css? No, I don't. But again, I can click this button and insert that into a new file called board.css. But let's see what happens if I do not want to use any library. So let's go back to the chat again and say, do the drag and drop, but without any external libraries. And let's see what happens now. It will Try again to do the same. Now I no longer have the library. It is creating again the same structure here. Just like that, it generated again the same code, but this time without the library. And I'm curious, to be honest, to see if this already works. But now I notice that types are missing on the entire file. So let's try something with the quick chat. Add TypeScript types. And I've I don't think this is using O1. This should probably be uh, still GPT-4.0, but it seems that it is doing something quite right. So let's see, I accept this change. I save. And if we now go on the browser, this is what it created. I see I've got my four columns and these are the tasks. If I move them there, the drop doesn't work. And this seems like a solid result, but let's try to add a new feature. Add a create button to create a new task by adding the text and the description. And also for each card on the board, add an X icon that should be red to delete this specific task. Now it is using this file as reference. It is updating the same file. So it looks like every time it generates the same file from scratch and it should add the changes. Now I'm not using it for this quick project, but I suspect that if you're using some kind of versioning, you will find it way better to see the differences between your existing code and what Copilot suggested. And I can do again the trick of selecting everything and clicking here. But I see this might be a problem. There isn't any TypeScript type once again. So I suspect I should ask again to create the types. And while it generates them, let's see what else it added here. So there's probably some new CSS changes. Let's give it a look. This looks probably longer. Let's see. Yep, it added the delete task, create task, and some more CSS. And back here, I can accept the changes, hit save. And if you go on the browser, this is the change. I can now, let's see if it works, first of all. Yeah, I can indeed delete the tasks. If I try to type something and I click create task. This seems to be working fine. And that's it for this very first session using the new model. But I think to be honest, 
this should perform even better or more complex tasks. This was quite easy, just a uh, Kanban, so maybe it didn't shine too much. Anyways, in the next days, I'll try to push it a little bit further and see what happens. Once again, if you also want to get access in the official announcement, there's a link which brings you here where you can join the waitlist. I will leave all the links in the description. And that was it for today's quick demo. I hope you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already, and see you in the next video. Bye!